we are ready to start screen printing our first layer of our, our image. And what I did here was take our acetate and tape it to an example of a page so we could position it. Now I have my screen here already clamped to these screen printing clamps and I taped it off with painter's tape and I positioned it by putting it here on the table and putting it exactly where I want it lined up with my image here. And then I used this um, electrical tape to tape around this piece of paper so it's positioned exactly where we want it each time. And I've also mixed up my screen printing ink and I also have on hand a small spatula and a little bowl of water and also a little paper towel because if the ink gets on your fingers or on the wrong place of the squeegee you want to have a little damp uh, paper towel to wipe it away. And I have all my pages set up here. So I'm going to position the first one. And lower the screen. Set out a little bit of ink. where you're going to screen print and it doesn't take too much ink to create an impression. And I also have another bowl on hand just to set the spatula in. So I'm going to take my squeegee and drag it across. Just one firm motion is all you need. And then make sure you have some newsprint to set your squeegee on. And then we're going to lift this up. Sometimes you have to peel it off the back. And we have our screen printing image ready. I'm going to hang this up to dry. I have a couple of lines with uh, clips on it. But uh, you can also use drying racks, which are available at art supply stores. Now we're ready to do the most simple step, which is um, flecking the gold paint on the prints. And uh, this is just something that I add to kind of make it remind you of old books. And also it works to uh, cover up a lot of sins. So I'm going to get my gold paint here and I have my print set here with a little frame that I made out of poster board and it doesn't have to be exact, Just this is just meant to shield away the edges. And then I just take my old toothbrush and flick a few times. It's ready. Here's the final step for printing our Lit Kids prints, and it's going to be an image of Nancy, a little more detail, printed in violet ink. Just going to pour a little bit here. Squeegee right across it. And here we have our final image of Nancy.
I've signed the prints and put stickers on the back, and now here they are for sale on my shop at Etsy. Thanks for watching my demo on how to do a silkscreen. Look for my shop, Lit Kids, at Etsy.com.